Hi folks, this is Gabe at Security Baron, and today we're reviewing the Nest Cam Indoor. So if you're wondering, hey, how well does Nest actually integrate with Google? How easy is it to set up? How's its night vision? How's its storage capacity? These are all questions that we're gonna answer. So let's get started. If you'd like to see a list of our favorite cameras, Google Security Baron Best Security Cameras. And if you have a question about today's review, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. Nest was acquired by Google a few years ago and then in the big alphabet reshuffling was kind of pushed to the periphery. Well, in the past year, they were reintegrated with Google. So let's hope for a seamless experience. So let's talk about some of the features that Nest boasts right on the package. So of course they have the 1080p high definition video and the two way audio, but the real bread and butter for Nest is Nest Aware, which does things like 24 seven live continuous streaming and person alert that'll let you know if someone actually is in the home and whether or not they're a familiar face. So right out of the box, I have to say that I find the Nest Cam Indoor very aesthetically pleasing. It has this gunmetal color, and not only is it gunmetal, but it's actually made of metal, while the lens and the camera are in this glossy black plastic, which you can actually rotate. It actually feels weighty, substantive, like it's not gonna break. There's this rubber backing, and on the bottom you have a rubber perimeter and this magnetic base. So one thing I'll note is that I find the white micro USB cord and adapter a little bit jarring, especially considering how sleek the rest of the camera is, but it is highly mobile. You can go like this, you can do this. Overall, I really like the design of the Nest Cam indoor. And if you'd like a more detailed analysis of its construction, check out our Nest unboxing video. Design notwithstanding, we need to know how well the Nest Cam Indoor actually works. So for that, let's put it to the Security Baron Necessary Features Test. Here at Security Baron, we think that every camera should have stellar video, two-way audio, night vision, local and cloud storage, smart platform integration, artificial intelligence, value, and convenience. Security Baron Necessary Feature of Stellar Video, the Nest Cam Indoor comes through. It has 1080p high definition video, eight time digital zoom, and 130 degree field of view. While we've seen better fields of view, this is at least the minimum that we think a camera should have of 130 degrees. And while we've seen as much as 16 times digital zoom, eight times definitely works. So in terms of the security barrier necessary feature of stellar video, we give the Nest Cam Indoor full marks. A security brand necessary feature is two-way audio. We love two-way audio here at Security Brand because it allows you to talk to whoever is in the room that you're monitoring. Now, the Nest Cam Indoor comes with two-way audio, but it has this really funny kind of feature where it plays a chime beforehand. So I'm not sure if that's to uh, prevent people from being scared, but I kind of feel like chimes are just as scary as someone's voice when it's, you know, a horror movie and a grandfather clock goes off. It's definitely that chime that gets you to jump. But it's kind of cool, and you can turn that feature off. So when it comes to the security barrier necessary feature of two-way audio, we give the Nest Cam Indoor full marks. Security brand necessary feature of night vision is really important for all of us who actually care about security. Now, the NS does really well because it has eight high power infrared LED sensors that can give you a really crystal clear vision of whatever's going on in a particular room in the dark. However, you can also integrate Nest with the Philips Hue light. And so when it detects motion, it'll turn the light on in the room. Uh, and so that's pretty cool and definitely allows us to give it full marks for the security baron necessary feature of night vision. Security Baron thinks that a necessary feature for all cameras is local and cloud storage. Now here, the Nest does not have any local storage options. You can only do the cloud. And of course, as we've found with a lot of the cameras, there are tiers to it for what you can do depending on whether or not you subscribe to Nest Aware. So if you wanna do cloud storage with continuous live streaming and video clips that are stored for about a month, you need to go with the Nest Aware. But overall, we give it half mark for having a pretty robust cloud storage system, but definitely lacking in terms of having no local storage. 
Nest is a Google-owned company, so when it comes to the security brand necessary feature of smart platform integration, of course they do admirably. So they come with all of the skills of Google Assistant, but also Google Chromecast, and it even integrates with your Philips Hue lights. So when we're talking about Nest Cam indoor and smart platform integration, we have to give it full marks. A security barrier necessary feature is artificial intelligence. And while the Nest won't tell you exactly who someone is, it does have person detection and can do person alerts. So when it comes to artificial intelligence and the security brand necessary features test, we give it full marks. A security barrier necessary feature is value because you don't want to spend so much on the camera that you can't afford anything else afterwards. Now, the Nest Cam Indoor has tons of great characteristics and features but it does come in a bit spendier than its competitors. The Amazon Cloud Cam, which has very similar features, comes in at $120, whereas the Nest Cam Indoor is around $175 to $200. Additionally, if you do the subscription Nest Aware plan, if you want 30 days of cloud storage, that's $30 a month or $300 a year. Now, of course, you can do just 10 day cloud storage and that'll be $10 a month or $100 a year. And that's about what we've seen from the other companies. But we do wanna note that it is three times as expensive just to get a month of cloud storage. All that being said, we do think the Nest works really well. It integrates so well with Google Assistant platform that it may merit and warrant the extra cost. So overall, we still give it full marks for value. A security barrier necessary feature is convenience. The Nest Cam Indoor really boasts that you can set it up within a minute and we have to say that, that is absolutely true. This has got to have been one of the easiest setups that we've ever had here at Security Baron. It was really a one, two, three setup. We plugged it into the power outlet, we installed the app, scanned the QR code, and we were ready to go. It also very easily integrated with our Google Assistant, our Philips Hue, and our Google Chromecast. So overall, we have to give it full marks for convenience. Of course, any camera is only as good as its app, so let's jump into that right now. Let's take a look at the mobile application for Nest. Nest, of course, has a host of products, but today we're looking at the Nest Cam Indoor, and when you open it up, you've got a home and away right above a video of the live stream. Now, that's important because you always wanna be able to jump right into the live stream. So if you jump in, you can actually see what's happening. And below that, you have the option to decide on what has taken place throughout the day. Now, we've set up various motion zones uh, inside of our room. You can also do person detection. But this kind of allows you to decide what things you wanna see. So I can turn off one motion zone if I knew that something was gonna be happening in a particular area, like maybe it's where the dog stays or where the cat likes to play, and I can just look at whatever I think I wanna focus on for the moment. Now, if we get out of here, you can go into settings, and from there, you can turn on the home and away. Now, if you don't have it set up on schedule, you can also go into spaces, and spaces will allow you to see everything inside of the Nest app and other products. So if you have a Nest thermostat, you can really get all these things to work in conjunction in the spaces part of the app. Family allows you to add other people. So you can add people that you want to be able to have video access and you want it to start to recognize. Let's jump into Nest Aware, which is the subscription service for the Nest Camp Indoor. This is where you can really see all of the elements that come along with that system. So if you got personal alerts to let you know when people are coming in, if you got continuous video storage, so you can do up to 30 days of video, you can do close-ups, so when it recognizes that someone's in the room, you can look at the close-up of them, and of course you can look at the activity zones that you've set up. Now, notifications where you actually would set up that activity zone. There you can draw a little box or a circle that allows you to have a specific zone that the camera's paying attention, and you could ignore everything else or vice versa. You can change all the colors inside the zone, it's kind of fun to play around with. I had a good time making motion zones in this room and this is all available under the notifications application. So activity zones is only something you can use to reiterate in Nest Aware. In settings, you can also set up a schedule. So in schedule, you can be like, this is when I'm gonna sleep, this is when I wake up, this is when I go to work, so that the camera gets an idea of when it can expect to be viewing something or not and will alert you to that activity. So this may be if you don't wanna have to daily go through the idea of home and away 
or if you're not using any type of geofencing, it'll automatically say, okay, this person is gone right now. Additionally, you can jump into the microphone element and you can change the sensitivity of the microphone. So that's useful. Like we have ours on 75% because we wanna be able to pick up everything that's going on. You can also control the status lights of the Nest. So what's interesting is that not only do you have control over all the elements inside the app, but you actually have some control over the hardware. So maybe you don't want it to look like you're recording. So you can actually turn off the light of the camera whenever it's recording. You can also have a light come on when a live stream has started. So these are just interesting elements of controlling the actual camera itself so that people do or don't know that you're recording them. There's another part of the settings where you can actually change the video quality. You have about 120 gigabytes of cloud storage space, but if you want that to go further, you can change the quality of the high definition video. So if I'm taking a video and I take the quality down a certain amount, I'll also be able to put more footage into the cloud storage. You can actually rotate the view of the camera inside the app. So if the camera is upside down and it's giving you a weird look, you can actually rotate it inside the app itself. And finally, there's an element in camera settings that allows you to invite various family members. That's our look at the Nest Cam indoor mobile application. So this is the 1080p on the Nest Cam indoor. As you can see, it picks up everything pretty well in a room, uh, but you also may notice that it only has a 130 degree field of view. So typically you might be able to see a little bit more in this room if you had like a 145, but this is pretty good. On top of that, you've got the digital zoom. And what's cool is that in the bottom corner, you see what's happening in the wide screen. So you never don't have a vision of what's happening in the aggregate in a room. And if you tap on that, boom, it jumps right back to the full screen on the large part of your phone. So we can just see how it picks things up, give it our old globe test, see where we stop today. Oh, in the ocean, look at there, right in the ocean, right everywhere. Anyway, that's the 1080p on the Nest Cam Indoor. This is the night vision on the Nest Cam Indoor. While it may not be the best night vision, the eight infrared LED sensors do a good job of picking up what's going on. And in addition, they can integrate with the Philips Hue to actually turn the light on uh, when it detects motion. Of course, you've got the digital zoom with the little aggregate picture in the left hand corner, and it works pretty well. You can see what's happening here. I'm using the pan and the zoom, and we can go in on our globe and see what's happening. And it's picking, it's picking these shots up pretty well. And we're on Australia. So overall, we like the night vision on the Nest Cam Indoor. Let's jump into an overview of how the Nest Cam Indoor scored on the Security Baron Necessary Features Test. Stellar video, full marks. The Nest Cam Indoor has 1080p crystal clear quality video. Two-way audio, full marks. You can go back and forth on the Nest Cam Indoor. Night vision, full marks. The Nest Cam Indoor has an amazing eight high-powered infrared LEDs. Local and cloud storage, half marks. While it does have a number of cloud storage options, the Nest Cam has no local storage. Smart platform integration, full marks. Nest is a Google company and it really shows it with all the compatibility and integration it has with the Google Assistant. Artificial intelligence, full marks. The person detection alert with the Nestware subscription lets you know when someone is in your home. Value, full marks. Despite being a little bit expensive, the Nest Cam Indoor comes chock full with valuable features. Convenience, full marks. The Nest Cam Indoor was maybe the easiest cam we've ever had in terms of setting it up. Ultimately, the question we want to answer, and in this particular case, answer for the Nest Cam Indoor, is whether or not this is the camera for you. If you find yourself more of an Amazon person and you don't wanna spend around $200 for a camera, then you're gonna to wanna to look at another option. However, if you like using Google Assistant and you want a camera that simply works, you definitely wanna give the Nest Cam Indoor a try. And that's our review of the Nest Cam Indoor. If you appreciated this video, give us a like, 
and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe at Security Baron. Be secure.